Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are here going to be taking out our first or attempting to get out our first load of tier 2 wood products. Going to be taking those out to the depot honestly is going to be the hope if it works. I have no idea. Going to be just a test run. So as you can see we have filled up the logs. We do have another loaded skeleton rack sitting here ready to drop in there so and that's all full obviously this side then is all full because you know we're backed up now at that point so with the ability to uh now buy cars wherever you're at we turned around and picked up um four of the tier two cars so those are sitting here we're going to try to get those out of here with montezuma today not exactly sure if that's gonna work who knows i'm not even sure honestly what the grade is on the way uh, from here back to the depot so we'll just have to see if it can handle four loaded cars hopefully it can don't know didn't bring him down here it'll be a whole experiment there we go nice and secure there we go good clicks good 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 all right got that got that chicken on that we're good chicken that and that we are good to go so that should take care of brakes and everything else there we go all right it's gonna move it here Probably should have actually pulled the skeleton cars off the run for when we come back with this. But that would have been thinking ahead. We're not worried about that. So it doesn't really matter whether we take beams, I suppose, or lumber, being that we're just going up to the depot. So maybe we'll just take a mixture to see how everything is going. I don't know. That should probably went too far. Always go too far. Alright. See how fast we can get this done nowadays. Everything should be going good. And we don't have a particularly long train here, so. Alright, cool. Not really making things go faster there. See if we can get that one while we're at it. Probably sweet. So we just gotta bring this up a little bit. Nice thing with the instant brakes nowadays is you can just stop stuff. Bam! Done. Which is kinda nice. Also can make for a hassle, I understand. Alright, there we are, loaded up and running. We are headed out. Hopefully, we're headed out. Got the brakes off. Yeah, we got the brakes off or we wouldn't be moving. So now we just gotta kinda hope. All right, let's check. Make sure where we at with it. Okay, 80 some percent. That should be plenty for the whole run. Water, we need to make sure that we get water in this thing when we get up to the tower. <clears throat> Probably should put in some water and all that stuff while I'm here. I don't know. Maybe we'll turn that into a bowl pickup or something eventually. I don't know. Let's see what it's doing. Alright. Give it a whistle. And there we go. Leaving the yard. Well, not yard. Leaving the station. There we go. Hopefully we actually have enough power because I just don't know if this local, oh man, I don't know, I don't think we can really choke down for speed, no, we definitely can't, we're going to need all the power. Alright. 
like in this part of the run, I'm pretty happy with the bulk of this run, actually, the way it looks. Don't mind the wood bridge in here, it's nice and low. Obviously, could have done it a lot of different ways. We'll cut through the trees here. Kind of groovy. It's a little bit of a bummer that we're not going to be able to do this with any more speed. I think we're going to be... Oh, looks like we're slowing down. This might be a bigger problem than I think. I don't know. Let's go, little loco. Come on. We have Glenbrook, and Glenbrook will definitely do this if Montezuma does it. We can definitely go get Glenbrook and pull this out of here. But it would be nice if Montezuma could actually just do this. But I don't know, actually, because right here it seems like it's broken. Not that anything's getting steeper, but it's definitely not getting anything. It, you know, it's not like we're going to all of a sudden catch it downhill or something, so I don't know that this one is going to do it. Oh, it would be nice because we need another... We need a fair bit more money before we're going to turn around and be able to upgrade our locomotive. That's for sure. Pull it with everything it's got, but I don't think it's, it's not going to make it because, I mean, it only looks like it gets steeper up ahead. That's for sure. So I do not think we are going to make it with all four. So our solutions. How far are we away? Oh, we're only like halfway. So we basically got to cut the load. Because even if we kept creeping at this speed, this is insane. Make sure this isn't going anywhere. Alright. We don't need two road cars running off into oblivion. Alright. We'll drop that there. Then we have a good idea where they are. That way, we're not just randomly going, oh, all well, we know we left them somewhere out there. We'll leave that there. We'll just have to come back and get a Montezuma. Definitely not going to do all four. She'll do two, looks like. Just bit off a little bit more than it could chew, apparently. There we go. Maybe could have got three. But if you're going to do two, you might as well do two and two. So there you go. Obviously, heap it up. But there you go. Unrealistic. Not going to get up with four. But that's. I almost was afraid that, that you know, I thought that was going to be the problem, to be honest. I mean, I was kind of hoping. I was like, yeah, maybe it's not that steep. But there you go. A little too steep for it, but that's fine. That's what we wanted. We want to be running out the little locomotives, and we definitely don't want to be using the little locos for freight. So, you know, there we go. Found that limit. We can move two cars at a time. Definitely not going to move much more than that. Going to have to step that loco up soon, although really we won't be coming this way with the... Um, wood products anyway so maybe we can get four if we swing it up to the mine and I guess we'll just have to get that track in obviously sooner than we were planning because running two of these out at a time is kind of going to be in you know no way will we be doing a lot of that two cars is too small <laughs> yeah I can handle four Six is even better. Six eight is okay. I'm happy in that neighborhood. Getting down to two is a little bit tighter than we want. So obviously we'll be either turning this over. The thing is, this is definitely not gonna. I don't think it'll get the skeleton cars up the hill either. So 
We're just going to have to run enough to get another loco. Looks like the deal. So where are we at when it comes to loco money? We are at $570 after buying the four cars, which we should have probably only bought two, and then we'd still have a 1000 for a new loco. But, all right, we got four cars, so that'll fix it when we do get the loco. But now we've kind of got to get more money. But we're going to end up being tier 4 or tier 5 probably before we end up have enough money to actually buy another loco. That's going to be the thing. So, <clears throat> you know, I was kind of trying to see if we could end up buying a tier 3 locomotive, but it doesn't seem like that's going to gonna be the thing. We can still buy a tier 3, but we'll definitely be high enough to buy a bigger loco than that. So who knows? What is that to see when the time comes? what we get out of it, how much money we have. Early game money is always a thing, how you spend it, how you utilize it. Whether you put it into rolling stock or you put it into new locos is always a thing. And then versus how many loads you want to run to the depot, you know? I mean, you always can just run a ton of loads to the depot and there's your money. So, which is kind of what we're starting to do right here, right now. Because we definitely needed rolling stock Which we now have. Yeah, turbo brakes. Alright, that is gonna chill us down there, but I am gonna grab this switch so that we can just get that set over. Wonder if I actually need to unhook these cars or if I could just back down the rail and go grab those other ones once these are empty. Might just be able to go grab them. There we go. Good enough. Let's see if we get paid. Yep, get paid. A little bit of money. Oh, there we go. A little bit of loot. Not a lot. That's for sure. I'm gonna have to go back and go get those other cars. So I don't know. I think we'll just I'll turn around and clean that up. I think we'll call that one like a half a win. Definitely not a success. That's for sure because we're just gonna end up parking and storing two of these cars. I suppose you know in reality I could just turn around and cut two of them off, park them right here, and then go get the other ones because we're not gonna be able to run with all four anyway. That's for sure. Although I wonder, I suppose you could probably just, well, whatever. I'll just probably store two of them and we'll call that, call that what it is until we can upgrade Montezuma. But there you go. Line tests don't always work out the way you want them to. I guess we'll call it a half a win save. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you get a chance, like, share, subscribe. Subscriptions are free, but they sure do help the channel. Y'all have a great day.